Hi, welcome to Ty's Conscious Kitchen. Today I'm making alkaline butternut squash pie, which is a great alternative for a sweet potato or a pumpkin pie. The items I'm using are on Dr. Xavier's Nutritional Guide. So I'll be using spelt flour, coconut oil, sea salt, and spring water. That is for the pie crust. For the pie filling, I'm using mashed butternut squash. And you can watch me in the video here making it. Now let's begin making the pie crust. One and one fourth cup of spelt flour, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and then we take a half a cup of coconut butter, but I actually put it in the refrigerator to make it hard. So then what you do, you cut it up in chunks and add it to the flour and blend it. So I take the coconut oil and cut it up into chunks and then add a quarter cup of ice cold water. I'm going to knead it into a ball but mix it up, mix it well so that the coconut oil will start getting a little soft. So it takes a little bit of time. You may have to add a little bit more water. You knead it into a ball. Let it sit for about five minutes. Now it's time to roll out the pie crust. Do is put down some flour on your surface that you're rolling it out on. Put a little bit on top also. Also in your rolling pan. This is a non-stick one, but I prefer a wooden one, but I don't have one. So and you kind of like to see the coconut oil inside of it. But when you bake it, it helps it be more flaky. You have to add more flour to it. Now I'm done rolling it out. I have to use a lot of flour because it just kept getting stuck to the surface. And with the rolling pin, it's nice to just roll one way. Don't roll back and forth because it will get stuck. Now we're going to place it in our pie pan. We're going to bake it for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to put the butternut squash pie filling inside of it and bake it for another 15 minutes. So it's very hard getting it up. Because it wants to stick. So, I may have to piece it in there. I have to see what it is it sticking to the countertop. So, pretty much, I got to piece it together, make it look like a piece of artwork. But, still going to taste delicious, so, it doesn't make a difference. Here's the finished product. Now we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350. And then we're going to add the pie filling. Now it's time to take the pie crust out and put the filling in. And then bake it for another 15 minutes. Take it and smooth it out.
back into the oven for another 15-20 minutes. Now the pie is ready. Cooked it for about actually 40 minutes. There it is. Alkaline butternut squash pie. Looks delicious and it tastes delicious. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.